Hi, my name is John E. Marriott, and I'm a professional wildlife and nature photographer based in Canmore, Alberta. This is my backyard. I have been photographing now seriously for 23 years and have been photographing professionally for, well, this is my 20th year. I've been pretty fortunate over the years to have uh, a number of uh, prestigious clients, everything ranging from the Calgary airport all the way up to the top of the line for photographers, and that's National Geographic. I'm pretty blessed to be able to do this uh, from nine to five. And actually, it's not nine to five, it's more like five to nine five in the morning till nine at night uh, every single day throughout the year. When I was six years old, I got a Kodak Instamatic uh, for my birthday. And uh, I remember my family, uh, I'd grown up in British Columbia and my family used to travel out to the Canadian Rockies every summer for a camping trip. And I took my little camera along in September that year and uh, got all kinds of amazing photos of bears and moose and elk and so on. And I still actually have those photo albums of these little tiny dark specks off in the distance. Uh, but that was, that was how my photography career started. <laughs> I had a lot of improving to do. There are a couple of things that I really love about uh, wildlife photography and nature photography in particular, and that is uh, that it gets me outside. Uh, you know, I'm out in these kind of environs all the time looking at big mountains or looking at icebergs or uh, walking across wide open prairie and uh, there's just no better feeling in the world to be outside. The other thing that I love about uh, wildlife photography is that I get to be out there and matching my wits against things like wild wolves uh, which are not very easy to photograph. Uh, and then I guess the final part of it is that uh, I like the technical side of photography. I was always a bit of a nerd growing up. So all put together, uh, you know, it's pretty obvious for me to see now why I became a professional photographer. I really love every aspect of it. People often ask me what my favorite animal to photograph is, and uh, that's a pretty easy question for me to answer usually. Of course, it's red squirrels. Um, I just, no, I'm kidding. Uh, you know, it used to be grizzly bears. I used to have an extraordinary bear addiction. And I still do, but I've had an animal now that has taken over from that, and it's probably what I'm most known for, and that is uh, photography of wild wolves. Uh, I will go and spend uh, hundreds of days a year out looking for wolves, uh, both close to home and across the country, really. I am pretty careful in my job. Uh, I try not to put myself in situations where I might get attacked. Most of my encounters where an animal has kind of shown a bit of aggression towards me have been uh, more animals you wouldn't necessarily expect. Uh, I've been charged by a beaver, but I've never been charged by a bear. So I, I consider that to be, you know, a, a real sign that I am careful uh, about what I do out there. And I, I try to always have a perfect wildlife encounter. And that means that when I go in and I photograph an animal, uh, when I'm done, the animal's still doing what it was doing when I got there. Doesn't always work that way, but that's what I strive for. So I worked for Parks Canada in Banff National Park for four years, from 1992 to 1995, and I actually had a couple of bosses there and colleagues that were very into uh, photography, and that really got me going again uh, towards launching my career. Sold my VW van in 1995 to buy my first big lens, a big 500 millimeter Canon. I got my first big break in photography in 1996. And uh, I got a phone call from an editor with Canadian Geographic asking me if I had any photos of grizzly bears from Kananaskis country. And ended up selling my first ever image, which was published in the December-January issue of Canadian Geographic magazine, 1996-97. So it was my first ever sale, and uh, it was to a very big magazine, so I thought, you know what, you know, this is the start of big things for me. So 1997 was my first official year as a professional wildlife photographer and I made a grand total of $717. Uh, it didn't, wasn't until the year 2000 that I was actually able to turn professional full time. And uh, it really wasn't until about 2003, 2004, uh, about 10 years into photography, photographing quite seriously, that I was able to say that I was making a very comfortable living in wildlife photography. 
I first moved to the Rockies permanently back in May 1991 uh, and I had sort of grand visions with my degree of getting a job with Parks Canada right away and uh, living happily ever, ever after as a park ranger. But uh, it didn't quite work out that way. Uh, I was unable to get a, get a job with really anybody at first uh, for two months, just lived in the hostel in Banff, finally got a job at the uh, mini golf at the Banff Springs Hotel and then a job at the Plains Luxton Indian Museum. So I was working those two jobs and I was going out in my spare time uh, looking for wildlife. But I remember one encounter in particular that really I think changed my life and, and how I, I view photography in the, the 20 years since that point. Right in that first week that I arrived in Banff, I went into the Parks Information Centre and I saw a bulletin board up saying that there was a warning that there was a grizzly bear called Field that was out along the Bow Valley Parkway. Now I of course didn't take that as a warning, I took it as a wow, I gotta get out there and see if I can find this grizzly bear. So as a young 21-year-old, uh, I went out, uh, loaded my little Honda Civic up with five other people and we went driving down the Bow Valley Parkway. And right as it was getting dark out by the Storm Mountain Lookout, lo and behold, there's this beautiful little blonde grizzly called Field with a big male courting her, following her around. And we went, sat there in the car and watched them right until it got pitch black. And it was just a, a magical experience. Well, within a week of, of seeing Field for the first time, uh, she got into Johnson Canyon Campground, got into a cooler, was captured by Parks, relocated. She came back, was captured again, relocated further north in Alberta into the Swan Hills, broke into a trailer, and was shot by a Fish and Wildlife officer. So within two weeks of the first time I had seen her, the very first grizzly bear I'd ever seen, she was dead. I think Field's story played a big part in why I'm so passionate about conservation and why I spend so much time as a wildlife photographer exposing these very serious wildlife management issues. You know, things like fighting the grizzly trophy hunt in British Columbia, which I am so strongly against. Basically, every way you look at the issue, there's just no reason that we should be hunting grizzly bears. You know, being able to get my message out on Facebook and on my blog and so on, you know, having TV stations uh, phone me for interviews and things like that. I just have such a broad reach now that I feel very fortunate that I can push on these issues and continue to push and put out rants and uh, the word gets out there. And that to me is the single most important thing that I do as a wildlife photographer. You know, I think it's important to note that this has kind of always been a goal of mine. Uh, I went to university uh, specifically to learn about wildlife conservation. Uh, I have a joint degree from the University of British Columbia and the University of California, Berkeley. Uh, a forestry degree, natural resource management, uh, that specializes in wildlife management and parks and recreation. Uh, so it's something that I've wanted to do for a long time. I didn't know what form uh, my end career would be, but seeing that I have now ended up becoming a professional wildlife photographer, after looking back at that six-year-old birthday and getting that Kodak Instamatic and knowing how excited I was way back then, it probably shouldn't have come as a surprise that I did end up becoming a professional photographer.